This really tells me a story of someone who is repressed. <laughs> So if you're creating something in a disturbed state, some of that resides within the piece itself. This is literally so fucking cursed already. Mikozilla. Mikozilla. Hello, welcome back to my channel and another episode of that one time that you noticed a strange new thrift shop in your small town so you decide to go in and subsequently purchase a typewriter that generates best-selling murder mystery novels but actually causes the murders to happen in real life. So you vow to use the typewriter to vanquish your enemies and become the king of the new world order or something like that. <laughs> if you're new here, my name is Miko Zilla, and I am 27 years old, which means it's not too late to join the 27 Club. So today I will be testing my luck by exposing myself to dozens of so-called cursed images. As I said, I'm 27 years old, so I have been on the internet for quite some time, and one of my favorite niches on the internet is the cursed image niche. There are countless accounts that post cursed images, and some of them are truly, like, disturbing, some of them are confusing in a way that you don't understand the context, and some of them are just gross, and some of them, like, really aren't even that cursed at all. So I am putting it to the test with my brand new rating system. When I think of the phrase cursed image, one of the first things I think of is actually the Goosebumps book slash episode called Say Cheese and Die. There is also a sequel, Say Cheese and Die Again. In this episode, the main characters discover a haunted camera. It's kind of like a Polaroid instant camera, and if you take somebody's picture in it, then they die. This Paramore shirt I'm wearing is actually designed after the cover art for the book. Anyway, I fucking love Goosebumps. I know that's really obscure, but I bet you there's somebody out there who can relate to me thinking this. <laughs> and I bring this up to say, as I go through these cursed images, I will be rating them on a scale of one to five haunted cameras, because haunted cameras take cursed photos. That's all there is to it. So the first thing we're gonna do is just flat out go straight to Google, type in cursed images and see what we can find. And I might also venture on to Instagram a little bit later in the video to see some of those cursed images on some of these accounts dedicated to them. And uh, it's gonna be like a fun little cute video. So let's get right into it. All right, guys, here we are. We are about to dive into the world of cursed images. So first one here. <laughs> this is literally so fucking cursed already. So I have seen this one before. This is like an old Chuck E. Cheese or like similar type mascot with this little boy that has a shirt that says Dick the Birthday Boy, which like granted his name could be dick but like it sounds so inappropriate and it just adds to the curse this is the first one so i'm gonna give it just because i've seen it before three out of five haunted cameras okay this appears to be a photo of someone with a mask of woody from toy story this is definitely creepy the eyes are like creeping me out you know if i saw this outside of my bedroom in the middle of the night would be terrified. However, it's clearly daytime in the picture and I don't feel, you know, fear. Um, rating this probably two out of five haunted cameras. <laughs> All right. This one is like more on the funny side, but it's definitely cursed. Just like how the face of this looks so human and then it has this gigantic jaw as if it was like a snake unhinging its jaw or something. Also, the statement that he is a hot dog, but he's eating a hot dog implies cannibalism. So I'm gonna go ahead, <laughs> I'm gonna give this three out of five haunted cameras. This is pretty cursed the more I think about it. Okay, this is a picture of Elmo waiting in bed, possibly seductively. Other than the fact that it's weird, people have their kinks, one out of five haunted cameras. <laughs> this is artwork that somebody made of Bart Simpson, maybe to look like Michael Jackson? 
Is that like what I'm getting from this? I'm not 100% sure that's the intention, but um, you know, it's pretty cursed, but really it's, it's not that creepy. It's just kind of like cringy. So I'm giving it one out of five haunted cameras. Oh shit, okay, here we go. I feel like this is a truly cursed image because what is going on here? Like literally, <laughs> I would be so scared if I saw this fucking person they're inside of a watermelon. So I think they carved the watermelon to look like a face and put it on her head. But it's just really creepy. Um, this one is giving me four out of five haunted cameras. Uh, okay, yep, this is, uh, we're getting into psycho territory. This really tells me a story of someone who is repressed. <laughs> I don't know who would do this to a fucking baby doll. It's kind of funny. It's not that scary. I'm giving it two out of five haunted cameras. All right, this appears to be a cave or like a room that looks like the inside of somebody's mouth. This is giving me very Attack on Titan inside the Titan's mouth. But we got these well-to-dos up here. I don't know about this one. It's weird, but if it's an art installation, like I'd be down to go. So you're only getting one out of five haunted cameras. Uh, this one, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know what to say about this. It's just weird. Again, it's similar to the baby doll one. Like who would do this to like a toy? What did I give that one? Two? We're giving it two. No, just one. One out of five haunted cameras. <laughs> Alright, this is in the uh, gross category. Um, <laughs> it really is grossing me out. Honestly, food things, like forbidden food subcategory of cursed images, disgusting. I hate it. It really grosses me out. This is honestly a five out of five haunted cameras because that's some curse shit like did she die nobody knows <laughs> okay <laughs> another food one there goes the robot mom there she is there she blows right when i was getting on a roll too come on man here's me the cat's eating in the background, don't mind that. I don't know how she can eat when there's fucking this disgusting foot in front of me. Look, 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 look. I know it's just ground beef and onions, but like, why? Why do the nails have to be like jaggedy looking? They, like, there's zero amount of refinement. This is just like, no, no. I don't know if it's as bad as the dirty snow on an ice cream cone, so I'm gonna give it three out of five haunted cameras. Will you be? The chick N to my nugget at prom. So this is a two, two for two. This one on the left, highly disturbing. What the fuck is going on? Are they covered in chicken nuggets? And it looks like they're tied up. And for some reason, this is happening in a bathtub. There's no facial features, just eye holes. You could tell somebody's in there for sure. That's creepy. Would you have said yes to this promposal? Because if they're giving me chicken nuggets, like I honestly might take them up on that. <laughs> But if I walk into your bathroom and see this shit, that is so sketch. I'm giving the left side four out of five haunted cameras. Right side, that's like, you know, creepy older costumes for Easter. I've seen those compilations before. Just the fact that the kids look so upset makes it a little funny. Right side, three out of five haunted cameras. This one's definitely a little bit cursed because it looks like it's moving. But other than that, I'm not like that sketched out by it. So really um, it's optical illusion, not that scary. One out of five haunted cameras. Oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord. This looks so inappropriate. I don't even want to say anything more about it. Two out of five haunted cameras. Whoa. Ah! I think I've seen this one before too, however. 
so creepy. And can we not act like the Teletubbies, even if they didn't look like Satan's little helpers, <laughs> they're still creepy. Like the actual licensed Teletubbies, they're like six feet tall and they just, they're up to their little schemes. I don't know what they're planning. I don't know what's coming next. And especially these ones. Ooh, baby, baby. That's real creep. And I'm sketched out. This is a solid five out of five haunted cameras. What are they gonna do to this child? <laughs> this one's just funny. I don't really think it's cursed. I think it's very well timed. One out of five haunted cameras. Another Teletubbies thing? Are they multiplying? There's more than one red one this time. I think they're multiplying. We're giving this, you know, what, where are they? They look like they're in the Middle East or something. Four out of five haunted cameras. This one is just kind of funny. It was a little disturbing. Again, like people make these things. I don't know what's going on in their head. That's part of what makes it cursed. They say that images like really have power. This is just like a quick little side note. And there's varying levels of believing in that. Images most definitely have the power to elicit certain responses within people for various reasons. My personal belief is that when artists create or photographers create you know if you're making anything you're putting your energy into that and it lives there so if you're creating something in a disturbed state some of that resides within the piece itself and can affect people so am i gonna be cursed from doing this maybe we'll find out <laughs> Anyway, um, Ripped Barney gets literally one out of five haunted cameras. This is just impressive, one out of five haunted cameras. Oh, here we go. Yup, highly disturbing. Don't know what I'm looking at. It looks like several different people's limbs made into a spider. This is a human spider. If Spider-Man was like this, do you think people would be showing up to the movies? I mean, a different crowd for sure, but I don't know. This is solid. This is really scary. And it's definitely a five out of five haunted cameras. Like I'm gonna probably see that by sleep tonight. I, I can't. Smooth Yoda? One out of five haunted cameras. All right, let's look up scary cursed images. That's what we're here for, really. Bunch of sheep staring you down. What are they thinking? What do they want? Probably some hay. Um, I'm gonna give this a two out of five haunted cameras. This is haunted as fuck. It's so cursed. Imagine if you came down to your basement or like you were surveying a property or something and you went into the basement and discovered a decrepit old Mickey Mouse lurking about the corner. How long has he been there? Does he live down there? Who knows? Very creepy. This is a five out of five haunted cameras. Uh, okay, this appears to be a wedding reception in Chernobyl. <laughs> this is just giving me like post-apocalyptic vibes. It's not that creepy. They're just gas masks. This gets a two out of five haunted cameras just for being black and white and looking like vintage. It gives it that little extra creep factor. Ew, I'm, there's so much going on in this photo. So first my eye is drawn to like this and like this. It looks like there's a friggin dildo in the toilet bowl who is this one person is this two people okay i think this is a really good one because a it's creepy b it's kind of hard to identify like what's actually in the picture a little bit and it makes you look at it for a longer period of time and like really question what's going on and i think those are all the staples of a truly cursed image five out of five haunted cameras here we go <laughs> this appears to be vintage rat costumes weasel costumes something whatever it is they appear to be in love and i'm happy for them so this gets three out of five haunted cameras for intrigue this one's just funny it says <laughs> caution horses may bite <laughs> it's just the horse staring at you this gets a three out of five haunted cameras all right this is hitting me right in the colrophobia we have a murderous clown in an otherwise happy something or other some sort of family gathering possibly a birthday this clown did go on to later murder all of them that very same night so this is a five out of five cursed <laughs> so five out of five okay doesn't seem that cursed one out of five 
This was going around for a while and I was creeped out by it. I assumed it was actually like photoshopped, but turns out this is actually part of an art installation, which looks more like this. So, I mean, the more you know, it's still creepy, you know, and for notoriety, I'm gonna give it four out of five haunted cameras. All right, here we go. This is pretty cursed. This person looks like they came out of a wet dumpster looking like Bagul from Sinister. <laughs> I like this. I'm gonna give this one a solid three out of five haunted cameras. This is just weird. So this appears to be the bottom half of Obama's face with some photoshops to it. Creeped out by the hyper-realistic yet cartoonish features. I am only giving it one out of five. Okay, this is the shadow man that haunts me in my sleep. Definitely creepy. This is some solid, like, classic shadow person shit. I'm gonna give it four out of five haunted cameras because they could have taken it to the next level, you know? This is the scary Humpty Dumpty. Definitely terrifying. You know what they don't tell you about Humpty Dumpty is he's never an egg. Where did that come from? He, that was a guy that fell, broke into a million pieces, and everyone's trying to put the blood back in, and now he, you know, sits and waits for his opportunity for revenge. He could be anywhere and everywhere at any given moment. You never know when a good old Humpty Dumpty is gonna fall down that wall right on you. Uh <laughs> This is fucking cursed, and it is a 5 out of 5 haunted cameras for me. Oh lord. This appears to be a free, free range minion behind a fence. Very creepy. Gonna give this one probably a, you know, it, it's a 3 out, it's a 3 out of 5. So we have a shadowy figure with glowing eyes over here, and over here we have a little white girl acting like it's a puppy or something. Is it a puppy? It look it doesn't look like a puppy. It looks like somebody being risen from the dead and hungry for blood. But she's down with it. Maybe she wants to be cursed. Maybe I should find her and have her on my next segment of uh, cursed image ranking. This is pretty good. And what's with the shopping cart up here? I don't know. It's pretty good. We're gonna give it four out of five haunted cameras. Ouch, this looks like the Yeezy collection 2021. I mean, hey, this is like a straight jacket kimono looking thing with fucking slipknot mask on it. Honestly, it's fashion. It's serving and I would tip this queen. So are they floating? It also kind of looks like they're floating above the ground, but it might just be an optical illusion. This one's getting, you know, it's gonna get a three out of five. It, it doesn't seem that cursed. This is just funny. Uh, I love it. However, not cursed. So it's gonna get um, just one, one. I did not expect to be exposed to all these clowns today. Obviously highly cursed. Five out of five haunted cameras, easy. This one's pretty interesting. I have no idea what's going on in this photograph. It's really hard to tell if it's been like doctored or whatever. It looks pretty vintage-y. Either way, I'm creeped out. This is solid four out of five haunted cameras. It's a, um, a chupacabra possibly with some other creatures in the front. They look like deers or like calves. Anyway, solidly creepy, love it. I do have to say, you know, this is a four out of five haunted cameras. It's pretty creepy. It's hard to tell, you know, what it is, what's going on. Okay, this one, performance artist with a creepy mask walking on tippy toes and tippy fingers. V creepy, love it. Um, I also would hire them at my next gig to be my backup dancer. This is giving me three out of five haunted cameras. This is art. This appears to be a homemade Bugs Bunny costume out of duct tape. It's horrifying. It's very large in the crotch, if you notice that here. Um, I don't know what's going on. It's giving me very, like, diaper. Very creepy. If you saw this man, or woman, I guess, I don't really know. It's giving me, like, male energy. If you saw this man walking down the street on Halloween, what would you do? Because I'm calling the police, except not really. I don't involve police in my affairs. We take justice to the streets. 
That's why I have a sword. Okay, that's all the good ones we're getting from like Google. I'm just gonna like quickly do a little bit on the Cursed Images Twitter and we'll see where we go from there. Cursed Image 2371, damn. This uh, is appears to be blood geysers. Very creepy, very creepy. Don't know what's going on. It's got that vintagey look. I wonder if this was like a movie set or something. This is solid. It's getting uh, five out of five haunted cameras. Okay, um, homemade and like vintage Halloween costumes seem to be like one of the largest categories in the cursed image niche because they always come out creepy. Did people just like really not know how to make shit back then or are we just like better? Do people not make these creepy costumes anymore? I don't know. I'm a little scared and especially now I'm noticing they're holding like... <laughs> A baseball bat? That's pretty fucking cursed. Four out of five. All right, dude. This is the shit I'm talking about. All right, we're in the middle of the woods somewhere. Here's this tree filled with little stuffed animals, children's toys. They're in the branches. They're hanging down. And there's some people in the background. Don't know their involvement in this. Why I love this image is it really reminds me of these neighbors down the street from my father's house. They always had all this junk in their yard and among the junk was they had like a little, like a plastic toddler swing almost, but it has a stuffed animal in it. It's been there for years. And actually over the years, they have accumulated more and more stuffed animals on these like creepy little swings outside their house on a tree very much similar to this. My personal theory is that they are murderers and every time they get a child, they just add a new stuffed animal to their trophy collection and it's right there for the world to see. <laughs> I don't know if that's what's going on here, but nonetheless, it is very creepy and it is getting five out of five haunted cameras. I'm gonna find one more good one because I'm my voice is getting a little tired. My emotions, I'm struggling. Perfect one to end on. What is this? Can anyone explain this to me? Do you know what this is? Because I sure as hell do not. We got two humans male female one dog and one giant iguana all going ass to mouth for the full multi-species centipede who made this who allowed this to happen this is so cursed i usually um don't like to judge people's artwork based on whether or not it's like cursed but like this was this was a design yeah this was very questionable i don't know who thought this was a good idea it's not utilitarian. Why are they in a circle? What is, what is going on here? Do I regret doing this? Yeah, mm-hmm, big time. Yeah, that's definitely it. This is super fucking cursed and it's getting five out of five haunted cameras for sure. This is extremely, no, why? All right, um, well that is definitely enough for today, you guys. Let me know in the comments of this video what your favorite cursed image on today's installment was, and let me know if you'd like to see another installment of rating cursed images on the internet. If you find any really good cursed images as well, like please tweet them at me. I would love to see them. And maybe we'll do like a little caption contest or something down the line. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And as always, subscribe to my channel down below. It helps me out a lot. If you really like me and you want to follow me outside of YouTube, I'm on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok, all at Mikozilla. And do not forget to tweet me your favorite cursed image. <laughs> well, that's about it for today, you guys. I'm going to go cut off a monkey's paw so I can get three wishes. See you next time.